Hello everybody and welcome back to Twilight Phenomena, the Lodgers of House 13. This is chapter number 5, entitled Ruth Hamilton. And we'll get to that chapter, but first, uh, let's escape from this guillotine. The evil monkey put me in the guillotine, now I need to escape. Okay, so what you want to do is take this green thing and put it here. So that way, when you pull the lever, hey, it does not actually cut off my head. Very nice. And we can use the sharp blade to cut this rope. And I can use the rope on this thing here. Right? And I can pull it to escape. Okay. Okay. Whew! Okay, we got out safely. Okay, okay. Now... Now to really start chapter number five, Ruth Hamilton. Ruth Hamilton, we'll, we'll be doing things with Ruth. And we have a mummy. Yeah, that's creepy, that's creepy. Okay, so when the monkey attacked us, it uh, conveniently showed us that it has a cane. Right over here. So we're gonna use that cane. And here's Ruth, Ruth Hamilton. Her throat is dry and uh, the supply wires don't look so good. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to help her out. But first, uh, let's get through this area. You'll notice we have bees. Terrible, terrible bees. Use the cane. Bam! That gets rid of them. Stupid bees. That's what they get for being in my way. Ha ha. And let me see. This is stuck, so use the solvent. And now we have a mop. Nice. We have a bear. And we have a piggy bank, but we can't reach it right now. Hmm. We have an umbrella. And here we have some puzzles which we can't solve right now, like this. We want to do that. I don't know what that is. Uh, oranges. We can't reach the oranges. And there's a bulldog. An angry looking bulldog. Distract it with the holographic cat. Okay, it's distracted so I can get the jack. Nice. And now I can solve this puzzle. Put the jack on, grab the brick, use the jack and put the wheel on. Move that thing so you can get an orange. Very nice. And we have some tape, so undo the tape. We get tape and we get a file. Okay, so I think that's everything we need in order to help out poor Ruth. Okay, put the umbrella up there, mop this up, and use the electrical tape. Okay, Ruth, Ruth, how's it going? How's it going? Things are better? She's crying. That's, that's horrible. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get her something to drink. Use the orange on the juicer. That's not right. That didn't work. Okay, yeah, I need to cut the orange in an unnecessarily violent way. Okay, here's half an orange. Fantastic. So, use half an orange on the juicer. And now we have some juice for Ruth. Okay, Ruth, here's your juice. Oh, thank you. It was unbearable like that. I've been trapped like this for almost a year, but it feels like an eternity. When I still had my body, I tried to get away by climbing from the balcony into the courtyard, but it was guarded by a vicious dog. You should be able to use the sleeping pills I found on the dog. Sleeping pills? You must hurry. It isn't safe here. The sleeping pills I found are locked away in the cabinet up there. I'll transfer the information you need to open it to the computer. I hope you can make it out. How are you going to transfer information to the computer, Ruth? Ruth? Do you have anything else to say to me? I guess not. You know, the first person she's seen in an entire year and she doesn't want to say much. Okay, use the file here. <laughs> Took me a while to figure out that puzzle. Use the brick here. Get the uh, piggy bank. Use the brick. And we have a zipper pull. Use the zipper pull on the zipper. And we get some leaves. Leaves for the puzzle that Ruth just showed us the solution to. Okay, so let me see. Let's arrange thing uh, let's arrange things in order. 
I don't remember the order. Okay, red in the upper left, purple in the upper right. Ah, there we go. And apparently somebody took those sleeping pills and made a sleeping mixture. Huh. Oh well, okay, use the sleeping mixture over here. And the dog falls asleep. Bam, just falls right asleep. Okay, so let's go over here to the gazebo area where we have a couple of more puzzles. Purple mermaid, okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, a brush, looks like we're gonna need some food for the basket. And we want to get some of the food from this hedgehog, but we can't get it right now. That hedgehog is very protective of its apple. Okay, we have a hose there. Clearly, we want to uh, clean this off. We can't really uh, see anything. Get the carrot. Use the brush. And now we can use the hose. Come on, hose. Clean off the door. Clean off the door. Okay, we have a bear. And another puzzle. Okay, so simple puzzle. Just click and drag the pieces in order to form a picture. <laughs> okay, looking uh, somewhat good so far. This piece obviously goes uh, over here. Is that it? That's it. That looks like it. Okay. Solve the puzzle to get into the gazebo where you can get some bananas and some pruners. All right. Bananas. Carrot, we still need to get that apple away from that hedgehog. And we have some pruners. And this gives us a mermaid, a mermaid statue. And an elephant tusk. Interesting. Okay, okay. So that's basically it, everybody. That's basically it for uh, this chapter, the Ruth Hamilton chapter. Let's, let's recap what happened here. We got out of the guillotine. Let me see, we got this cane. Very nice. Uh, we managed to get past the evil bulldog. We helped out Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. If we can help you out, you know, we, we will. We want to help you out, Ruth. And this is an adorable baby hedgehog. Adorable baby hedgehog. Okay. All right, so that is officially it. That is the end of Chapter 5 of Twilight Phenomena, The Lodgers of House 13.